today we are doing I have a 12 ounce rebel red bull red bull not a rebel because it's like a homemade type thing so we have blender right here you guys can see blender right and then we have our red bull and we have all these different kinds we have french vanilla vanilla strawberry passion fruit and huckleberry now today we are doing strawberry strawberry and huckleberry because i mean those are the two that really sound the best so if you guys don't know how to make this stay tuned this is how you make it let's go okay got my lid right here and we're gonna fill this up right here we're gonna fill this up with ice so i'm gonna get into my ice maker and get some ice that seems like that seems like it should be enough for now but we're gonna leave the ice actually no we're not gonna leave it out we're gonna put it back in okay now that the ice is back in there, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna put this the Red Bull and the um, syrup mixture in the the cup that I'm gonna end up pouring it into to pour it into that, so you guys can see how much of it there it is. So we're gonna open this. The little drink or what? That's good. Dump the Red Bull. A red, you Red Bull, not Rebel, into here. So you see, it almost fills it all the way up. Looks like beer, huh? So next. Huckleberry, strawberry. We're just gonna do these by sports, okay? We're not gonna do uh, we're not gonna do tablespoons or anything. So we go one, two, two huckleberry. Go over to strawberry. One, two. All right, so we got this mixture. We're gonna pour this mixture. That should be enough ice. So we're gonna pour this mixture into the ice. So now that we have this right here, we're gonna lock this in here, right? There it is. There's the mixture with the ice, and here we go right here. Ice crush smoothie milkshake liquify, and here's the off button. Obviously, we have it to high. So uh, we're just gonna do smoothie, because we don't want it like, we don't want it like super, super liquidy. So I just mix that up just a little bit, and because I want to do a taste test, I don't want it have to be. Uh, I don't want it to be too uh, liquidy. So I'm gonna taste this. This smells just like a rebel. It looks just like a rebel. Like, taste test right here. I swear this tastes just, oh my God, bro. What is this? This tastes just like a rebel. I'm not joking. It looks like a rebel. It tastes like, a, I'm not even joking, bro. It literally tastes no different. Look at this. Look how much it makes, too. Oh, my God. This is about a 12-ounce glass, 16-ounce glass. So, it makes at least 24 ounces. Oh. Like, if you asked them for a Strawberry Huckleberry Rebel, I swear to you, it would taste the exact same as this. Like, I'm done, bro. You could make these. Like, honestly. Okay, guys. I got this big, hefty straw right here. Look at that. Mmm, that is so good. Bro, make this. And I, a lot of people have these, and you can do different colors. Maybe I'll do another video on different colors. And, bro, there's no reason to even go to Dust Bros. Bro, this, this is hella good. And look how much I made. And it was a 12-ounce Red Bull. Okay, guys, so a good amount, like a measurement would be if you're doing one flavor, just like just strawberry, or just huckleberry, or just passion fruit, whatever the hell you want, just do six quarts of it. If you're gonna do two different flavors, like I did, do three squirts of each. If you're gonna do three different flavors, do two squirts of each. Bro, it's so good. It's just perfect. It tastes like a rebel, bro. 
Who doesn't like these? And dead ass stays the same, bro. This probably cost. How much do red, red, these Red Bulls cost? Like three bucks. Whatever the cost of them are, like, the, like these are like four dollars a piece or something like that. And there's so much in it that like you could literally make your own Rebels for less than half the price. And they're making them to sell. And how I charge like five, five bucks a piece for these. Highly recommend it, guys. No outro, guys. I don't even have an outro for this. I don't know what to say. The only thing I could say is, like, there is no difference.